Back here in Washington, there was a heated debate on the House floor this afternoon that included shouting, accusations of racism, and tears. It all took place as Republicans voted to kick Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar off the Foreign Affairs Committee, citing her past comments that many viewed as anti-Semitic. Critics say it was all about revenge. CBS's Nicole Killian is on Capitol Hill. My voice will get louder and stronger in a stinging rebuke on the House floor. I am Muslim. I am an immigrant and interestingly from Africa. Is anyone surprised that I am being targeted? Minnesota Democrat Ilhan Omar chastised Republicans who voted along party lines to oust her from the Foreign Affairs Committee. The nine-year-old me would be disappointed if I didn't talk about the victims of conflict. I didn't come to Congress to be silent. I came to Congress to be their voice. Republicans pointed to Omar's statements widely condemned as anti-Semitic, bashing congressional support of Israel as grounds for her removal. This is not about silencing anyone. Words matter. Rhetoric matters. Democrats argue the move was political revenge after they booted conservatives Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar in the last Congress for threatening statements, but now they sit on high-profile committees. I had a member of the Republican caucus threaten my life, and you all and the Republican caucus rewarded him. Speaker Kevin McCarthy says it wasn't tit for tat. If it was tit for tat, we would have picked people, took them off all committees, and said nothing about it. The, the gentlewoman is no longer recognized. The progressive squad member has apologized for her past remarks. Congressman Greg Meeks is the ranking member on House Foreign Affairs. Don't agree with everything that she says, uh, but there's a lot of people in Congress I don't agree with, but that should not be grounds of removing her from the committee. Congresswoman Omar can appeal her removal. One of the Republicans who voted against her was New York Congressman George Santos, who just this week recused himself from two committees since he's under several investigations, although some lawmakers are still calling for his resignation. Nora? Nicole Killian with those new developments. Thank you.